Hi guys, and welcome to our second stop on our road show today here on the Lower East Side at Christian Tierney Gallery with Candace. Um, hi Candace, how are you? Hi, I'm doing pretty good so far. You know, start of the day, so I'm feeling chipper. Good. Yeah. So tell us what what's going on in the gallery and what you guys are showing with us next week and what's exciting. I'm sure being back in the gallery is exciting. Yeah, this is the first time in probably almost four months that uh, the whole gallery staff has been able to to sort of come together and be in the space, of course, while still social distancing. And over the past few days, we've been busy installing actually this show, which is gonna open in September. It's with Joe Fig. it's called Contemplation. And it is a series of new paintings by the artist that essentially show uh, groups of people um, lost in contemplating an artwork. Um, these are all taken from various museum and gallery shows that the artist Joe has visited over the last few years. So we're kind of just trying to get ready for the fall so that, you know, once September hits, we are uh, ready to be open, ready to have the show up and to hopefully have visitors. So we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but in the meantime, we're also doing a lot of digital projects and initiatives such as the Aspen Art Fair. And um, we do show paintings, but I would say also a really big part of our programming is moving image. We're particularly known for uh, showing a lot of video. And mm -hmm. so next week with the online Intersect Aspen Art Fair, we're gonna be showcasing several of our video artists, including Peter Campus, who is like the grandfather of video art. Janet Biggs, uh, she won a Guggenheim Fellowship uh, last year. Also, Wooden Harrison, um, Malia Jensen, Francois Boucher, T. Kelly Mason. And we're really excited to have the opportunity to show some of their video work to a wide and diverse audience over the um, Art Fair platform. Awesome, I'm excited to check it out, and I'm sure everybody else will be excited to check it out next week, yes. um, starting Wednesday. Um, should I give everybody a little tour of your show? I you would wanna... love that, yeah, because yeah. it's kind of like a sneak peek. Yeah. Um, we are open by appointment, but for the most part, you know, you won't really get to see these till September. So these are uh, little early previews. Yeah, they're really wonderful. Thank you. So that one is a Max Beckman show um, that Joe visited. I love the floor. Um, I kind of do too. Oh, and this is fabulous. I love the back of the heads. Thank you. That is uh, Koto Zawa from the Whitney Biennial. Um, and it really is uh, amazing just from painting to painting, like all of the tiny details that you see in each one. I know I mentioned the floor, it's pretty much different in every single painting, but so are the visitors, their clothes. I love noticing, you know, just details like the tiny wrinkles in their jeans or their boots, the way that he has paid such close attention to their hair, their hairstyles. Um, but even more than that, just the amount of skill that it takes to replicate another artist's work. Each of these paintings is a different artist, very different style, um, sometimes different media represented, but Joe has taken great pains to learn how to make the artwork the same way the original artist, in this case, Carrie James Marshall did, um, and to replicate it on a small scale. Absolutely, and I mean, you're really transported to the shows, which is quite amazing. Yeah, and I think it's um, particularly hitting home for a lot of people right now because we're not able to visit, for the most part, galleries and museums in person. Um, it's something we haven't been able to do for a long time, and I think many of us are missing that right now. Well, I, I definitely am, and yeah. I mean, it's a real pleasure to see these. Thank you. Thanks, Candace. You're welcome, and looking forward to seeing you virtually at the fair next week. Thanks.